It's Brainwash with Dr. Tom and Guitar Picks with Kyle Welch. Metallica, Sanitarium, welcome home. So now we're, now I'm in high school. <laughs> Just speaking of, of the age, you know, period. And, and when I got my first guitar, it was, you know, it was the stuff I was listening to was Metallica and, and more hard rock things. And, you know, I had all the posters of, of Kirk Hammett and all those guys on my wall that mostly just the lead guitar players was what I was, what I was interested in. And I like the song, of course, the aggressive you know, mm -hmm. teenage angst is, is right in there. <laughs> but the interesting thing about Sanitarium was that was one of the first songs that I sat down and, and learned off of a CD, or, learned, or thought I learned to the, to the best of my ability off the CD. Um, <laughs> you know, did the best I could, but uh, going back and looking at it now, I think there was a few things that I should have corrected, which I have in the <laughs> example I'm about to, about to play. It's a stuff in the in the beginning and it, it becomes very epic which I found curious and I, I enjoyed and then you eventually get to the more aggressive portion of the song All right. I think I'm gonna get it Kind of not that much into the Metallica thing anymore, but but still respect it as being something that I, I grew up and had influenced me. It's Brainwash with Dr. Dom and Guitar Picks with Kyle Welch. Ozzy Osbourne, Crazy Train. This was a song, I remember the first time I heard this song too, I was on an activity bus on my way to Raleigh in like <laughs> middle school. Um, and, and of course, you know, this was 10 years after the record was even, even came out originally. Uh -huh. um, and I was like, wow, let's, you know, listen to that. And of course, it's Randy Rose <laughs> playing guitar. And it's such a tragedy that he died when he did because he would be mm -hmm. incredible now if he was around. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, just that the opening lick of the tune um, just blows me away every time I hear it. You, you know, you're driving around and put Crazy Train on, you hear Rossi go, all aboard, you know, and you just <laughs> automatically just turn the radio dial up as far as it will go. You know, the, guitar solo in, in, in the middle of it and uh, you know it's been into the, the whole Ozzy thing ever ever since and he's always has great guitar players with him anyway as, as he goes through the years. So, so you were on the crazy bus on the way to Raleigh. Well the bus know? was a little less crazy, it was an activity <laughs> bus and uh, I was sitting next to this guy named Jeff Rouser. Uh -huh. Didn't even really know him all that well but we had kind of assigned seats and so we sat together and he had his Walkman and he said hey man did you ever listen to this and he gave it to me and I was <laughs> I started listening to it. He's like, "Hey man, can I have the back?" No, hold on, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I gotta listen to some more of this. <laughs> it's brainwashed with Dr. Tom and guitar picks with Kyle Welch, Joe Santriani, always with me, always with you. Probably one of my favorite guitar players. First time I heard that was the first time I'd actually heard like solo guitar in, in a in a rock genre uh, as an instrumental piece. Mm -hmm. And the song spoke volumes to me. It, you listen to it and it just it just talks to you right off the record because it's a, it's a Fairly, not necessarily super complicated melody, but then again, it's not the simplest thing in the world either. I think the way it's, it's put together, melody and harmony is is incredible. Uh, you have this uh, rhythm part or harmony part with it. So you already have the scene that said it's very kind of mellow and you know what's gonna happen and I think that the melody is just it's just beautiful. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
know, sort of this display of technical prowess against this, <laughs> but very, very serene picture that he painted, and, and he didn't speak a word through the whole thing. So mm-hmm. I was hooked. Instrumental music. I was, I was like, that's, that's great. That's what I, I want to try. That I want to try my hand. And, and never in that time, you know, in that whatever year it was that I first listened to it, I was probably a teenager. Mm-hmm. Uh, did I think that I'd be able to even play anything that he could play, <laughs> or uh, for that matter, start to write things like that? So. Mm-hmm. That, I mean, he, and to this day, he's one of my favorite guitarists. Good deal. Can you tell us about your current gig? Yeah, uh, my current gig is with the band Benjamatic, mm-hmm. um, another guitar player who's been on, been on the uh, guitar, guitar picks. picks. Yeah, yeah there, there you go. Um, and we're all original mm-hmm. rock act. Uh, so I got hooked up with Benji. Um, he owns a recording studio, Earthtones Recording, and I was playing in another band at the time. And we were cutting a demo there, and, and uh, he had just, he was right in the middle of, of producing and recording the whole Benjamatic thing, which is really sort of his songwriting and, and his songs, but he wanted to put a band together to take it out and be able to play live. And so he had asked me at the time that I was in the studio, would I be interested in doing that? Mm-hmm. We've had some great times. We've been out about two and a half years now, and uh, you know we've played everywhere from the Greensboro Coliseum and Ziggy's to somewhere else, Tavern, and a little restaurant down in Charlotte. It's Brainwash with Dr. Tom and Guitar Picks with Kyle Welch, Steve Vai, Liberty. Steve Vai is, again, an uh, instrumental guitarist. And uh, he, he, well, Sat- we talked about Satriani. I think he's kind of like the melody genius uh, that would, I guess, make Steve Vai more of the mad scientist. Of course, he <laughs> played with Frank Zappa and, um, you know, White Snake and, and a couple other bands in, in the 80s. And um, Liberty was the first song I heard by him, and it's it's just this very triumphant, uh, multiple guitars playing the melody and just, uh, again, like we talked about the Prince, layers and layers of music and in my own songwriting I, I will try to sometimes emulate that with multiple guitars and harmony guitars playing the same melody in a different in a different spot mm-hmm. and uh, so I always attribute that to listening to, to those records. Um, and the song Liberty actually is, it, you know, he claims to have, have written it on an airplane when he didn't even have a guitar with him, the melody just popped into his head, mm-hmm. and uh, <clears throat> and he went with it. And uh, so to this day, I'm still big, like I said about Satriani, big Steve High fan. Mm-hmm. Also, 